Hey folks, I'm gonna make a quick video of uh, my <clears throat> my CO2 laser setup. I probably should have made a video of the process of building it, but I don't know. I'm always it's, it just seems very hard for me to make videos. I I should I, I don't know why, but it's just simply uh, you know um, a homemade CO2 laser with a neon, with a neon sign transformer. With some copper copper pipe here, you know, basically some hardware store washers here. They have a a groove cut in for the O-ring on a on a small lathe I have, and the, there's the uh, the output coupler. On. It actually has um, like Jared Kinsey's uh, laser, his simple poor man laser. It, it actually has a a piece of glass that is coppered, copper plated on my sputtering, homemade sputtering machine, and it has just a salt crystal as the, as the, as the output. And the other end is actually a curved mirror that you get from like Target or something, one of those travel curved mirrors. Um, simply, here's the end, here's the end that goes to the air conditioning vacuum manifold gauges, but you don't really need that. And then I just have two compressors from air conditionings in series with each other. The input goes to the manifold. The output of this one goes to the in, goes to the suction of this one. And here's the final output. And you can get a pretty deep vacuum. I think like 0 .01 tor or something around there. I'm not sure. But then, and this is where I sputter the lenses. I mean the mirrors. You just take a piece of copper and you sputter it onto the glass and it makes a nice reflective mirror the gas is simply a balloon but first I fill up with vinegar and water I mean vinegar and baking soda I start the balloon off with and then I put some water filtered plain old air from an air pump and then I pump with helium and the ratio I can, I can measure the diameter of the balloon and figure out the ratios like four inches I forgot where I wrote that down. Four inches of CO2, 5.5 inches of of uh, nitrogen from the air, and then um, 8.75 inches of helium. And then I have a simple, simple a needle valve you get from, uh, you know, um, propane or oxypropane. And the pump is simply connected to the tubes that the gas goes in. I mean the the neon transformer. I notice I get more output too when I'm connected to the center tap, which means this end's grounded to the case and the other end is the high voltage end going to the thing. Well, anyways, I'll show its process of working if I can get the camera set up. So the next video I'll show it working and and maybe a few more details. Alright, signing out.